So we wanted to give you a little update on a project we've been looking at here for a month or so, the EMS pack project. The question is, is there some modification to how we carry stuff in the red bag that more accurately fits our operations these days? Or is there something that needs to be added or subtracted? Or is there a different bag that might be better? And we're just uh, kind of investigating this. It's been several years since we deployed these red bags. They seem to be working okay. But there might be something that we want to try different. So we're just looking at it. We're going to do a little show and tell in February and March CME. Many of you have already had a chance to see it. But we wanted to provide um, something for everybody to look at here. <clears throat> no real decision timeline. Uh, we need to go as take as long as it takes to get uh, all the appropriate input, make a real good decision. Cost estimates probably about 250 bucks a bag if we're going to switch bags. Um, we know there's some content swaps we're going to do. We're going to move all the eye gels into the same pouch where the kings are currently kept. Unfortunately, they fit. And we know we're going to swap out bag valve mask for bag valve mask. Um, Somebody had suggested maybe we take out the antibiotic ointment and the bite blocks. Not sure that's going to save a lot of room. Not sure they have much value either way. And then there's some discussion about how we take care of our newly borns and how we keep them warm and maybe a port warm mattress with the OB kit pulled out. And so we're kind of investigating that as a side project. And then remember, as we said in uh, February CME, the VVAC suction tip Soft suction tip is for liquids, not just pediatrics, so we'd like to have that out where we can get to it a little bit. And we've looked at maybe some modifications to pre-connect that bag valve mask, make it easier and faster to deploy from the end of the red bag, move the PPE up to where it's easier to get to, and move that diagnostic stuff down to an end compartment because it keeps falling out of the top compartment anyway. And then either move that OB kit internally or to some other place. So here's a look at uh, Red Bag, and I've had mine configured like this for about a year, and I've worked a couple of calls pretty much by myself for a while with some pretty sick patients, and, and I, I like it. It's working for me, but it's just a suggestion. And uh, this is not just me, it's several of us that are making this suggestion. So as you look down on the inside of the bag, um, you see the VVAC suction with the soft tip already uh, attached, which is sitting on top of the extra BP cuffs, the super large and super small, and on top of the Narcan and the aspirin. And then to the left is the usual pediatric uh, airway module, and then the module where the superglottics are, and then that's the OB kit sitting next to it. I've got a video tour of this that pretty much says the same stuff that I'm going to include in this. And on that inside... Uh, top flap compartment, you've got your trauma stuff where you can get to it easily. Can't ever seem to find my scissors, um, so now I know where they are and I can find them and see them. And then on the outside, you've got your PPE, so you don't have to get in the bag to get PPE. You can access it quickly from the top, and then the clipboard is up there as well. And then that end pocket where the OB kit is now, I moved the uh, pulse ox and the regular BP cuff that we use on almost everybody with my stethoscope wrapped up in it. And they're sitting on top of the glucometer. And then in the end, I've got the um, pocket mask, which is, of course, also your face mask for your BVM. The BVM is pre-connected to the O2 tank. All i got to do is reach in there and uh, crank that, that flow meter open. Then uh, the Ziploc bag that you see sticking out has got orals and nasals in it, and a cannula and a non-rebreather are in there as well. Okay, so here's a suggestion for maybe moving some items around in the red bag. One of the issues has been when you open the top compartment, a lot of the stuff falls out. So the top compartment could contain just the PPE pack and the clipboard. And the diagnostic stuff moved to the back where you have pulse oximeter, the regular BP cuff that we use almost all the time, the stethoscope, and the glucometer. And then in the end, you can open rapidly for airway and ventilation control, orals and nasals in a bag, O2 mask and cannula, pocket mask, which is also your face mask, of course, bag valve mask pre-connected, 
easy to deploy in a hurry. And on the inside, the remaining BP cuffs, the VVAC suction with the liquid tip already attached, your Narcan and aspirin underneath, the OB kit relocated from the end, the pediatric resuscitation bag, and then what says King Airways, but will be eye gels now. And then all the trauma stuff, easy to find, easy to see, scissors prominently on top for quick access, as well as the chest seals and the tourniquet for those emergency trauma patients. Just a suggestion, something to think about moving forward. And then also a reminder that should you want to, this back, this pocket here on the side can be opened and there are backpack straps that can be deployed if you need to put this thing into backpack mode. That seemed to be a big thing that people were interested in when we showed the blue bag alternative. But this pack can become a backpack rather quickly or those straps could be leave, could be left uh, already hooked up. So currently the red bag's weighing in at 27 pounds. We're also carrying the AED separately. That's another nine pounds. Got two items to carry. Um, and the red bag is backpackable. Um, as you see, saw in the video, it's just nobody uh, has remembered that very often. And you rarely see it being used that way. So we looked into a different bag that might combine the AED inside the bag and found out uh, surprisingly nicely we could drop five pounds from the overall load. So, uh, and it's also very backpackable, looks just like a backpack. Um, sling it up over one shoulder or put it on just like a backpack. The OB kit would probably need to come out, but like I said, we're probably going to need to do that anyway. Kind of a separate side project, so wouldn't let that um, be a hang up. Clipboard probably goes in the front big pocket along with the PPE. Um, the only thing I, things, two things I don't like is the O2 tank is not as accessible through the end like it is in the red bag. And then there's cost uh, involved. And again, we're not sure what that's going to be, but the ballpark is, uh, you know, not an insignificant amount of 250 bucks a bag when you have as many bags as we have. Here's what it looks like sitting on my dining room table. Many of you have had a chance to see it in uh, CME, and we'll get it around to all the stations uh, between February and March. Uh, and you can come by the office anytime you want or catch me on a call because it's sitting in my truck most of the time. Um, but it looks like a backpack. Uh, it's made by Stat Packs, a very durable brand with good uh, success, good experience with that locally and, and a lot of other services. It has two side pockets. Uh, one would contain the Pulse Ox and the O2 mask and cannula, along with the Narcan and glucometer and, and such. And then the other side would be the BP cuffs and stethoscope. Then on that top or outside compartment, kind of the front compartment, it zips down. And all your PPE and your trauma stuff would be in there. It's kind of hard to see in the picture, but when you see it live, it makes a lot of sense. And then you can open up the inside of this bag um, for you know a critical patient, a full arrest. And you've got your AED right in there. You've got your bag valve mask pre-connected right on top of the adult eye gels with the pocket mask and the VVAC. And then all the pediatric bag valve mask and airway stuff is in the kind of the lid flap. Um, and then all your orals and nasals and that soft suction are out there. So we think it's a pretty good idea and we want to get your input and see what you think.